full aquarium in this box. Yeah, and it pops up. And it just pops up. Yeah, and then probably fill up with water and fishes. Or e iguanas. iguanas. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there they are. All right, you guys. So we just got everything that we need to do our baby iguana mini pool. Now it's time for us to go and just catch our baby iguanas. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. It's about 3 a.m. in the morning, and it's raining, as you guys can see. Over here in South Florida, all these invasive green iguanas have just laid their eggs. Let's see if any baby iguanas have hatched yet. We're gonna see how many we can catch. And the rain just stopped. It was just sprinkling too, and I guess they just turned it off. Well, that's really good because I really don't feel like getting wet. But I just want to show you guys what we are working with today. Uh, first and foremost, we have our catch bag. It's basically like a heavy duty mesh bag. It's got breathable holes. It's got like this kind of, it's got this kind of like, so another tool that we have is this flashlight. And check it out, it's my tactical flashlight. It's super awesome. It's got like high LEDs or luminescence, but check it out. It can focus like that, but it can also brighten up. Check that out. Now you can cover a lot of ground. Looking for, looking for is like bright green that will stand out against this natural green. So since iguanas are invasive species, they're not going to camouflage perfectly in these trees at night. We just found our first baby. Let's see if we can catch him. Just woke up. Oh, we just got him. Check him out. Our first baby iguana. Come here, little guy. Right in there. Make sure we close the top. sorts of different animals right now asleep. This right here is a dragonfly. Not quite sure if baby iguanas eat this, but let me know in the comments down below. This iguana, as you guys can see, he is sleeping in the dew. Female iguanas can lay up to 60 eggs with a 90% success hatch rate. No, Even as babies, so these green iguanas are friend. super feisty. And one thing I love about this bag, it's bright orange so you can't lose it. And also it's got thousands of little holes so all the baby iguanas can breathe. The further I go in the forest, the closer I look at everything. I'm scanning, looking for the silhouettes, trying to find these baby iguanas so we can do this little pool pond. Hey, buddy. Almost right there. We're gonna go ahead, do our best to see how much we can catch without letting any escape. Are you ready? Set. Let's iguana hunt. Nice. 
like I said, guys, it's just like Pokemon. All you got to do is come in the tall grass at night. He's super green, and look at that. At, at a hatchling, he's about eight inches long. Remarkable, guys. Look at it. Beautiful patterns. Beautiful patterns. Usually, iguanas, you, look at him. He's, he's flickering his tail a little bit. He's flaring. That's good. That shows that he's not soft. But usually, uh, green iguanas are usually just green, and they don't have no patterns when they're babies like that. So I'm really proud about that. These are uh, some really good quality uh, baby green iguanas right here. All right, you guys. So helping me baby iguana mini pool. Two assistants right now. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Natasha. And hi, I'm Trisha. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. You guys are going to be helping me make this baby iguana pool. Trini cooking with Natasha. Guys, her YouTube channel just hit 100,000 subscribers. Her channel is in the description down below. We have the pool, we have some plants, look at that right there, that's pretty cool, and we got more plants, okay, and we have water, now this is some Poland spring water, I think we're going to need a little bit more water to fill this whole entire pool pond for the baby iguanas, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second, what do we have, oh, okay idea what's inside it just says thank you in sharpie and it is covered in this kind of weird paper not quite sure Tasha do the honors of opening and revealing what's inside this box is this a present for me I like presents in this box yeah and it pops up and it just pops up yeah and then probably you fill it with water and fishes or e iguanas it seems like we have two different ponds to choose from i don't know which pond is better so what do you say we'll we just see. do both we'll do both let's yeah. do both let's do both some rocks check it out this is gonna be perfect we have this little rocky ledge right here and we have this cave so if any iguanas want to swim underwater into this cave they do have that option oh my gosh this is insane. Look at that. And the water's coming out crystal clear right now. Yeah, it's starting to flow. Hold on. Gotta get them air pockets out. There we go. Oh, that water's nice. It feels nice. I think I may jump in there. Yeah? Yeah, I thought it's like 90 something degrees. <laughs> Can I jump in here? You could, sure. This one. Yeah, I'll just sit in this one. Okay. It's about three inches. Guana Island. And we're going to put this right here because it is like a swamp in here. Obvious algae. So we have both of our habitats ready to go. The water is really nice. It's conditioned. It's got rocks. These two beautiful habitats for our baby iguanas. They are right now in this bag. We just caught them last night. So we are going to go ahead and introduce them. Yeah. All right. Come go. fast. Come fast before he goes in. Go ahead, little buddy. This is your new home. Go. Oh, he's confused. He's like, what on earth? There we go. Put him right there on that rock. All right, that's one. Two. Ooh. Oh, check him out. That is really awesome. Look, he's swimming laps around the pool. That is insane. Look how he's swimming. What a 
we got more. We got more. Come on, go join your brothers and sisters. There he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, go. OMG, this is insane. How many iguanas do we have in here? One, two, three, four, three. Five, I think we four. have five. Five? five? Four. Five. Five of them. Five iguanas. Look at that, guys. Look how he's swimming. The other pool. So there goes six. Seven. He went right on the island. Eight. We're gonna put him right on the islands. Eight. Oh my gosh. Come here, come here. Nine. One more, guys. Oh my god. This is so crazy. Go in the water, be free. Now that we got 10 iguanas in the swamp ecosystem, it's time to add as many as we can in this ocean ecosystem. Three. Four, five, six, seven. All right, guys, so we have seven iguanas in the ocean habitat. Check how they're swimming, guys. You guys can see they are fully getting submerged in the water. Look at them underwater if you guys don't believe me. Can stay submerged for up to 10 minutes as adults. These are babies, so they probably can stay under for like a minute. How old are these iguanas? These are about a week old, right? Yeah. They're about a week old, and as you guys can see, they are natural swimmers. Here, we're gonna add everybody to this ecosystem because this is the correct ecosystem, not the ocean. It's obviously the swamp because it's more natural to their habitat. So we're gonna go ahead and add this rock in there too. So now, we have two iguana islands. having the time of their lives right now guys. One big one. You guys, so this little project simulates how iguanas can survive in the wild as babies. As you guys can see, all they need is land, water, some plants to eat, and plenty of sunlight. If you guys enjoyed our baby iguana mini pool pond, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like. I gotta go guys. So until next time, just keep on catching.